good morning class today you are going to learn a new lessons called volcanoes let's see what is volcanoes volcanoes are formed when sticky rocks called magma forces its way through a crack in the earth's crust the magma or the molten rocks that spill out of the crater on the side of the volcano is called lava lava being very hot destroyed everything in its path the flow of the lava after eruption you can observe from these two pictures now let's see that the causes of the volcanic eruptions heat and pressure inside the earth temperature and pressure both increase from the surface towards the center of the earth plate tectonics the most volcanic eruptions take place near margins magma chamber the molten materials while still under the earth's crust melts weak rocks and creates a huge chamber for itself now the next the structure of the volcanoes the magma chamber is in the interior of the earth through the cracks it ejected once you reach we call it a lava then the crater is nothing but the mouth of the volcanoes then we have a secondary cone then secondary vent then the next the types of volcanoes volcanoes are of three types extinct dormant and active extinct volcanoes has not erupted in the past 10000 years this means that it is safe for all the people dormant a dormant volcano is a sleeping volcanoes and has not erupted in a long time but still might be in the future the active volcanoes is erupting often and could erupt any day this is the most dangerous type of a volcanoes now you can see the active volcanoes this is active volcanoes so this is the dormant volcanoes there is a hope to erupt it any time now after knowing it so when the volcano erupted what are the effects will have in our environment the earthquakes is one common phenomenon landslides acid rains so these are the common phenomenon after the volcano is erupted now the destructive effects of the volcanoes volcanoes can change the weather can it can be a acid rain the thunder and lightning the fast moving lava can kill people and falling ash can make it hard for them to breathe they can also die from famine fires and earthquake which can be related to a volcanoes lava can kill plants and animals too now let's see the constructive effects of the volcanoes land the creation the volcano can lead to the formation of the new land to farm and live on the land forms the volcanic plateaus volcanic mountains volcanic plains caldera lake hot springs geyser then the fertile soil soils created from lava flow are rich in minerals and are very good for agriculture mount vesuvius has produced the fertile soils of the campanians that is regions of italy and the tourist sites people visit areas with the famous the volcanoes 
then what is the ring of a fire why is it called the ring of a fire the area encircling the pacific ocean is called the ring of a fire because its edge mark a circle of high volcanic and seismic activity most of the active volcanoes on earth are located so on this circumferences thank you very much